And it's it's so funny because I went on a date and I had this man look at me and he was like, hey, will you take me home? We love confidence. I'm Vincent and this is Dating Prep. Annoyed. Um, I'm single. You have to be funny. You have to be able to make fun of yourself. Also, communication. I love a good communicator and nothing else matters if you're not open with the person that you're with. The entirety of the date he talked about housewives. There was no other communication other than everything consisted of a housewife quote and I don't watch the housewives, I'm so sorry. I was recently in London last year and met a boy, grabbed a drink, then he was like, do you want to get dinner? And we got dinner. And then the next day he calls me and he's like, should we go to France? And I was like, keep paying. We didn't talk about housewives once. Overanalyzing before you get to the date is a huge mistake. Like looking at someone's Instagram and like viewing their friends and doing all that. Let that person reveal themselves to you before you decide to walk into it with this preconceived notion of who you think they might be. Because then you're gonna have expectations that won't be met and you're gonna be disappointed. And that person's probably great, but you have already decided who they are. I moisturize my entire body. I listen to Beyonce while I'm doing it. I pop my prep in because we gotta be safe. And I do a little meditation because I'm an anxious person and I make sure that I leave the house calm, cool, and collected. It's important because it's not seen often. There's something special about seeing two people who look like you love each other and it's not aggressive. Black bodies are often not looked at as being human, they're looked at as being things, or things to be used, or things to be propped up, or things to be talked about, or talked at, and never really spoken with, or seen, or admired. I'm a big fan of like fantasy, and I would always envision these two lightsabers, and like one was pink and one was blue, and then in the middle there was this beautiful white, crystallized, diamondy pillar of light, and I always resonated there. In my family, I have lots of sisters and lots of brothers, and I could, re I could move between both worlds with ease, but never really felt like I fit in either. And the moment that I was comfortable with it, I was with my friend Brandon Kyle Goodman, who is also uh, non-binary, and we're sitting at dinner, and I'm explaining this to them, and they look up and they go, I think, I think I know what you're talking about and I think we may be the same. And I remember bursting into tears over like steak wagyu. It was this really beautiful moment of calm. I'm gonna look at my manager because he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> if you touch my heart in any kind of way, there's a chance that I'm probably gonna put you in my art. If you love me tender and love me right and make me happy and make me smile and laugh and we dance together, I'm probably gonna write about it. And it's probably gonna be about you, but you'll dance during both because that's the remedy for me. All the other songs have been about like me being sad and like traumatized and this entire new era is about like me being happy. And like does do people care about you being happy? Do people wanna know that you're happy? But I like having something that's mine and building something that means something to me and with the person that I'm with.